as you let go to that, you receive all the things from the outside world more willingly because you start to feel how cherished and loved you are. You feel how deserving you are because you're not separate. I've been doing daily affirmations, meditations, and all kinds of exercises for financial abundance, and yet I still have serious money anxiety. I might feel better while doing a meditation, but as soon as it's over, the pit of worry in my stomach about bills and debts comes right back. Why doesn't the relief last? Oh, so important. So when you say you're doing affirmations, meditations, and all kinds of exercises for financial abundance. Can you feel that, that you're kind of grabbing lifelines and that there are practices and things that you're doing that feel sort of like, okay, I'm going to grab this, grab this, grab this, but it's outside of yourself. Now, when you're doing things that are more inwardly rooted, you're going to feel a deep connectivity. And so rather than doing the meditations and the affirmations and the things like that, that feel as though you're bringing something from outside in, instead, let's start with this idea of meditation or affirmation or the, I don't know what other kind of exercises you're doing for financial abundance, but let's just clear that there's a place in A Course in Miracles where it says, this is, this course is so easy. If you want to show up to heaven on earth, forget this course, forget these, this teaching and just come wholly surrendered unto the divine. The divine, that's you. You are divine. You came to earth like the ray of the sun. You touch the earth, but you cannot be disconnected from the sun. The clouds can come by, the fearful thoughts, the anxiety about money, all that stuff can be the clouds in the sky. Right now, Forget all the affirmations, forget the meditations that you've been doing, and instead just come wholly centered on yourself. That means exhale, exhale, let go, let go, let go. Big deep breath, exhale. And now you're exhaling kind of into nothingness, not any concept about money, not any concepts about you, not any concepts about this or that or success or failure. Just let yourself relax, exhale. Even do that, breathe out of your mouth, like you're breathing through a straw. And as you exhale, just let yourself be blank for a moment. Don't fill it with anything. Don't fill it with visions of money, piles of money or affirmations. Just be relaxed for a moment. Just accept yourself as you are now. Just come wholly surrendered to your true self, to your divine self. And now I'm gonna describe your divine self while you're just in this place of full surrender. Your divine self is at one with everything. It's all of it all. It's connection itself, it's connected. It's eternal. It's past, present, future. It's utmost genius, its utmost resourcefulness, its utmost unconditional love, no condition. That's anything but love. No condition that it won't show up as love. Just relax into it now, feel it. It's unbounded. It's absolutely full. It's absolutely rich, rich rich in fullness, it's everything. There's no lack, there's no limitation, there's no fear. It's all, all love, it's limitless and unbounded. Just sit there for a moment in that, that space of wholeness, we call it holiness, wholeness. And now just let yourself be whole, I, whole, I. You're in that place of whole, I-ness. You're identifying with that wholeness. Let go of all the obstacles, all the barriers to peace. And you're in wholeness now. And now just receive. And don't put an ideal 
or an image on what you want to receive. Just receive what the divine wants to give you, which is everything, all love. And now feel inwardly for this voice of your own best interest, this voice of your own best interest that knows exactly what you need, doesn't miss even a hair on your head. It's an inward being, so it absolutely abides within you always, always has, always will. It's eternal. Connects you to everything. And now from this place of presence and peace and ease, no striving, no trying, nowhere to go, nothing to do, just listening to my voice. Just allow yourself now to say, I receive now willingly. I the one connected to my true self now, I receive all of it all. I receive now willingly. I allow myself to be at one with the divine. And there's a line in A Course in Miracles that I always call the graduation statement. I need do nothing. You need do nothing to be more deserving to be more loved, to be more cherished, to be better taken care of. You need do nothing. Just relax, 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 relax. Just relax. Exhale, exhale again. The one who relaxes the most wins. And now don't even think. The divine has your back. If you could empty yourself of everything as a daily practice, Empty yourself of everything and then show up wholly surrendered to the divinity of you, just as you just did. And allow yourself just to receive that, just to receive that. I promise you, you'll begin to feel so full that you'll start to feel like you're overflowing with grace. This is everything we seek, by the way. We think the money or the success is going to get us that. But we really desire the peace that comes from this connection, the fullness that comes from this connection, the feeling of being cherished and adored and impeccably loved that comes from this connection, not from outside accolades and not from outside successes, but those come because our inner world, once we connect this deeply, we let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go unto your true self, unto your divinity. As you let go to that, you receive all the things from the outside world more willingly because you start to feel how cherished and loved you are. You feel how deserving you are because you're not separate from the, the feeling and the knowing of what the divine is and loves and cherishes you, in you, of you, and through you so much. And you start to just show up more relaxed. And in that state of relaxation, you become inspired and it's not going to be like inspired to go, you know, form the next major billionaire company. It could lead to that, but it'll just be get up and have a drink of water. You're dehydrated. Get up and and go call that friend who happens to have the connection to the this and the this and the next and the next. Get up and enjoy this experience. And next thing you know, you're watching a documentary that inspires you, that has you shift your perspective in a whole awareness of things that leads you to the next and the next and the next thing. We feel also that once we attain things, we'll be happy and satisfied. It's a process, this life. It's an experience, this life. We want to enjoy every part of this life. And the only one way we can do that is while we're connected to the truth of who we are because it abides in fullness. So it purifies our perception and we walk into the world full of grace. And what that means is our path is aligned in grace, amazing grace. I was blind and now I see. You begin to see the miracles. You begin to see the synchronicities. You begin to see the abundance. And you realize it was always there. But my experience of striving and trying was what was keeping it away. So enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> You're ready to receive and relax. And the one who relaxes the most wins. I know that might be 
uh, the antithesis of everything that you were thinking, that even though you were doing things that were spiritually oriented, affirmations, meditations, and all kinds of ex exercises for financial abundance, you still had serious money anxiety because it was an idol in front of you, making you think that you get that. And that's what's going to bring you the peace and the love and the fulfillment that you already are. Just relax. You're right there <laughs> and receive and enjoy.